Hi everyone, this is Rebecca from Braden Digital, and today I'm here to tell you that you are being baited on Facebook, and you probably have been for years and don't realize it. What we're going to talk about today is engagement bait. It's something that has been around for many years. Facebook acknowledged it in 2017 with efforts to demote it and those posts. There are five types of engagement bait out there. They are vote baiting, reaction baiting, share baiting, tag baiting, comment baiting. Let's have a look at those five today. The first type of engagement bait is vote baiting. This is where you have a graphic from a page or an account and they ask you to choose an option through the liking choices. So for example, if you like A, hit the like button. If you choose B, pick the heart button. If you choose C, pick the angry button. The problem with these, even though they seem harmless, is that you normally wouldn't engage with these posts if it wasn't so easy. These posts then become very easy for, to rise up in the algorithm. It becomes viral. These types of posts are what we consider false engagement. You would normally wouldn't spend more than two seconds on this post normally, but you've given it an engagement, which means that it's going to rank higher than a post that deserves it. Option number two is reaction baiting much like vote baiting, is trying to get a reaction out of you. So it's usually a controversial topic and it will say, if you agree, hit the like button, or if you agree, hit the heart button. And it will be a topic that you probably feel passionate about. Many people will have an opinion on, or it'll be something where the answer is so obviously one-sided that you feel you need to agree with it. You shouldn't though, because what you're doing is you're taking away from posts that are actually creating healthy conversation. And the healthy conversation is what will get the proper organic movement. The third type of baiting that we're gonna talk about today is share baiting. I'm sure all of us have fallen victim to this at some point or another, either doing it unknowingly or taking part in it and not realizing it was a, it's actually against the rules to do this. So what this is, is a post where it says, you know, share with five friends to be entered for to a contest. Uh, there's often a reward for these, a fake contest often, um, or a real contest, because a lot of people don't realize this is a problem. But share baiting is a, is a problem that happens a lot because it, it is very easy to have a contest through that. And it's, the problem is it's very hard to track for the contest creator. They're just looking to extend their reach, which is, you know, you want to do that as a creator, but you want to do it the right way, not through share baiting. Also, the big thing with share baiting is that shares are one of the most important parts of the algorithm for Facebook when it comes to how far does a post reach. So if that post is getting a million shares, but it's not getting as much conversation, that is an empty post. That post is not worth anything. So you want to be really careful about what are you sharing? Is it a, is it taking part in the rules pro properly and is the contest real that's a really big question is have you verified that this contest that you're entering is a real contest because most of the people who run these they're fake contests they're not real so always keep that in mind when you're sharing content the next type of engagement baiting that we're going to talk about today is tag baiting this one drives me insane because it is so regularly used it can seem harmless but it's not because it is a form of engagement baiting. Now this is one, usually you get a really fun post and the question is, you know, your third app mention has to do something. So it has to buy the next round of drinks or take you to Jamaica or something like that. If they're fun, they're just a good way to create conversation, but they are engagement baiting. The problem with these is that the person who is commenting normally doesn't even follow that page. They've seen this post through a friend who's tagged them. What's happening with this is that when a friend tags you and you tag another person, you're extending this page's reach and you don't know what this page is actually doing. It could be a harmless page. It could be someone who's collecting data. So you never know. Always be careful when it comes to questions like at mention the next person who's going to take you to Jamaica. We'll use that one again. So at mention the next person who's going to buy you a round of drinks, the fourth person on your ads have to take you to Hollywood. You know, silly things like that. They're fun. They seem fun. They break the algorithm in against your favor, which is never good. The last type of engagement bait that we're going to talk about today is comment baiting. And this one is equally as frustrating for me to see because 
it's very obvious what they're doing, but at the same time, it's the one that people react to the most. So these are the ones that once again, appeal to your emotions. They'll say something very obvious that it's going to trigger you such as this girl with has been fighting cancer for five years. I bet you won't hit like, or I bet you won't say amen in for her. And of course, everyone's going to go and type amen in the comments, which means all of their friends are going to see that comment usually, which then triggers more people to see that. When you post those, you're actually damaging your algorithm for your, uh, for Facebook. And we're going to get into that in a second. But when it comes to, if you have a post that you see that is asking you to comment or tag or like or share, or anything that I've mentioned today, don't do it unless you recognize the page and you've actually liked them yourself. Now, you might be wondering, why does this matter? It's just a harmless post. These posts are, they're not doing anything bad. It's usually like, I love kittens is the page. They're just funny. The problem is, is that it might not always be, I love kittens. And we don't know what the intentions behind the account or the page truly are. So you have to be really careful with what you're posting and what you're sharing, because we don't know who these people really are. Also, the question is, why does it matter? It shouldn't surprise you that my answer is going to be the algorithm. The algorithm is the answer for everything. But in this case, the algorithm is so important because on average, people have about 300 friends on Facebook. Those 300 friends create more content than you could keep up with. The algorithm was created so that you would see the people who you interact with the most and they would be able to see who they interact with the most. You're not going to have your time wasted with memes and news that you don't care about. The algorithm is there to help you usually. But if you start interacting with these posts and if you start commenting on posts that you don't follow and liking things that you don't know, your algorithm is going to be thrown off because you're interacting with that instead of your friends. Like I said, you only have a limited amount of attention span through the day and the algorithm recognizes that. What you want to do is interact with your friends, interact with pages you care about, and don't waste your time on these pages that don't mean anything. <laughs> Just to reiterate, the five that we talked about today were vote baiting, reaction baiting, comment baiting, tag baiting and like baiting. They are being tracked down by Facebook regularly. And if those posts are being created by you, they are going to be uh, downvoted in the algorithm. So you really shouldn't be doing that on your platform if you are a small business or a page. If you are a consumer of this media, the reason this is so important to not interact with it is, like I said, your friends. You only have a limited amount of people that you can see per day on your Facebook algorithm. If you interact with people or pages that are not your close friends, you're not going to see the posts that truly matter to you. So make sure that when you see something that you want to interact with, it's someone you actually care about and not a random page like I love kittens. If you found this information helpful, please make sure that you've subscribed on, uh, down below to make so that you can see more information, hit the notification bell. So you know, when the posts come out though, it's every Tuesday at 11. That's the goal. And also make sure you're following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. While, while you're at it, check the mailing list as well so that you can keep up with everything that's going on. Until next time, see everyone. Bye.